What's the best way to hide something when you really don't want to know who it is up here, partner? And look at him. Just whatever this hide. You know what these two magazines have in common? These women right here, they both do something. They both don't look their age. They look way younger. Mm, not gay, I mean to women. Women can be dressed. You see that? I'm the latest game on history and all kinds of stuff. And knowing both ideal women are hard. Women that know me. And you're probably wondering what I look like without no sweater on, like most women. I'm just. It pays to watch your eyes. Oh, why? So good are you? Anyway. You can read the latest UFC magazine. Look at that. Or WWF magazine. I mentioned before Hulk Hogan came back. He's back stronger than ever. Someone probably placed a cup of coffee on him. When he'd be back, he's back. Alright, so we're talking about morale support here. I know a lot of you are trying to get over what happened now. Poor Hood. Remember what I said, soldiers. You see something, be a friend. Don't just sit there and brush it off, forget about it. Oh, it's not my problem. Oh, it's happening in the other unit. Yeah, that's it. A certain sibling of mine who's not far away, who's having a hard time working on that subject because she's not as strong as I am. I make the freaking phone call, but okay. People answer, they don't ignore me, especially Fortune 500 companies. When I say something that's not for my health, it's to help keep you folks employed. What do I do? Well, I thought I'd talk about some other sensitive subject here. Uh, for the command. Colonel David Buck Dillinger's garrison commander. That's your garrison commander, by the way. Those of you just arriving, I suggest you study here. Who's in charge of personnel? That would be beneficial sooner or later. Don't say I didn't help you with that issue. He's chain of command list. Go. Don't just look at them every day you walk by in the entrance area, the back door. Sooner or later they change and all of a sudden someone walks in. That's some... Um, I don't see your, your name tag, sir. That's some... Um, Command Sergeant Bauer. Yeah, that's it. Darn, you don't even have a name tag. It must have fell off while you were doing marching out of the, the field. That must be it. That's a face on a wall. God, we'll just brush it off right there. I hope that would be your brilliant excuse for today while you're trying to get that answer because you forgot his name. You know he's standing three feet in front of you. What? General... Campbell something, yeah, that's it. Guy, he's only almost as tall as the convo standing around neck. Holy smokes. Now, wouldn't that be a blessed day after inspecting your whole motor pool for the daylight before the weekend came? God. Just to help morale around here. Just stopping by to see how you're doing. Let's see here. Take action. Report child abuse. She starts off with, do you know child abuse happens global? Every five seconds. April and child abuse prevention month to the army everywhere. The sun rises in our nation's flag. By officially designated April as child abuse prevention month, the president of the United States is calling on all of us military and civilian parents and non-parents to unite and a common goal to end the abuse of a child. For children everywhere, I stand with the President and call upon you to make a commitment to their prevention efforts in partnership with our Army Community Service Family Advocacy Program here at Fort Campbell. Children are the future of our nation. It is our job to assure that they grow up in a stable and nurturing environment. It is our job to think of them first and keep them safe as parents. Child abuse prevention is non is 
No, a one month assignment. It goes on every day, every year. The Army Ready and Resilient campaign launched to spring 2013 as a community to strengthen resilience improvement readiness in order to make our missions HTTP. So you can find it on the website. I'll show it to you in a few seconds. HTTP backslash backslash www.army.mil backslash ready and resilient. Without every one of us doing our part, we cannot say our army is fully ready to meet the mission of child abuse prevention. As long as army children suffer from abuse or neglect, we have fallen short of our goal. Burnings, therefore, our theme for the child abuse prevention month this year is simple. Children safety comes first. Be ready to end child abuse. Are you ready? Then be ready to report child abuse and neglect. Are you resilient? Then you'll be able to help soldiers beat a civilians, families, and all our children to reach out for support when needed. As Garrison came out of Fort Campbell, Kentucky, I'm committed to children, children abuse prevention. Our ACS Family Accuracy Program is here to help you as they have helped me for those on base. Contact Fort Campbell ACS FAPS 270 to help end child abuse. That's for any military personnel at Fort Campbell or those arriving squared away. Keep in mind, <clears throat> like I said, you see something, say it sounds better to be your friend, someone offering advice. Hey, I know it's something. Your kid came to school with a black eye. Obviously didn't fall off his bike repeatedly. Sooner or later, that phone call is going to have to be made. Yeah. Legal action might take place, but hey, at least you did something to help that kid in need. Better to be a friend to that kid than somebody who sits there and tucks tail between their legs. I'd rather be a friend to that kid. Hey, you're not a beating bag, you're not a punching bag, and sure as heck ain't someone to blame for having a bad day at work. That's kind of bad. <clears throat> if you see anybody doing anything domestically violent, you need to have make a phone call and get them arrested. My family won't tolerate them. I sure as heck won't tolerate them, even toward women. Not even at a club. I'll be the first one to say, hey, this isn't the right way to go here. I appreciate you hitting that woman. Drunk or not. No excuse for that. The kid beatings out on a gym or something. Well, program officer for support to wounded warriors. And you know, one of many foundation organizations I support is wounded warriors. The U.S. Army released today. The U.S. Army Wounded Warrior Program is a major command component. The Army's Warrior Care and Transition Program it is a dedicated program to provide personalized support to the severely wounded, injured, and ill soldiers and their families wherever they are located. Recognizing a changing face of warfare and advances in Army medicine, the Army took a historic step in creating the U.S. Army Wounded Warrior Program in 2004. April marks the 10th anniversary of the U.S. Army Wounded Warrior Program. The Army's Wounded Warrior Program established a network of more than 200 advocates of the military treatment facility and veterans affairs facility across the country to support severely wounded, ill, and injured soldiers of all Army components. These advocates are backed up by a team of transition professionals with experience in employment, finance, and human resources and navigating the Department of Veterans Affairs. The Army expanded its support to the wounded, ill, and injured soldiers in 2007 when it was established the Warrior Care and Transition Program. Encompassing a AW2, a new warrior transition unit at the AW2. AW2 advocates collaborate closely with soldiers in the surgeons interdisciplinary team and ensure continuing of care when the soldiers return to the force to transition to their affairs. Why is this important in the Army, though? The combined efforts of AW2 and the WTUs and WCTT provides personalized support to more than 24,000 soldiers and veterans throughout the recovery and transition process. AW2 takes the key to impact the most every aspect of the recovery soldiers experience from comprehensive transition plan to cure and employment readiness as part of the WTT AW2 transition profession and where the share of breadth of their experience to write policy and guidance important to all ill and injured soldiers. These include 
recovery of a W2D process will conclude. Continue to the shape the future activities in all transit social investment where is cares is sacred obligation to the Army regardless of what future holds with the Army. Drawing down this mission will remain among the AW2 with continue to provide find smart more effective ways to provide the best of everything support continue of care to each soldier and veteran. Also, chaplain's area, for those of you who didn't read the paper this last week, by Chapter Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Botford, Station Pastor Cornell, Dr. Carl Menninger, the famous psychologist, stated that if we could reconvene patients in the mental health hospital, that their sins are forgiven, 75% of them would walk out the next day. Forgiveness, forgiveness is everything. I've seen family members and friends who kept their flaming boil and there's some, uh, some all ill done to them by someone ill else till the day they died. And they're well missed what it's like drinking poison and hoping the other person gets sick. There are different types of forgiveness. One was mentioned, every forgiveness is something that was done wrong to you. Mark Gunger, the author of Proponent of Loving Your Way to a Happy Marriage, gave a great definition of forgiveness. He says that forgiveness is an act. It's not an emotion. It's an eraser of your memory. Next subject. <coughs> Continue on. Military Live Muppet Style. Show returns to educate, entertain Fort Campbell families. You know the Muppets are coming to know the town here at Fort Campbell. Kelly Center tells Grover Elmo Cookie Monster Hunker Rosita that she has to move away from Sesame Street during a Forms for service members and their children during a Sesame Street USO experience for military families performance in 2012. The show returns at Fort Campbell this year. Tickets are free for soldiers and military friends. However, tickets must be picked up in advance below Elmo greets military children during a 2012 tour stop at Scott's Air Force Base in Illinois. The Sesame Street USO experience for military families help preschool age children better understand the necessary for moving, being a fun, engaging 30 minute performance filled with dancing and music. How about that? For somebody who was wearing a USO volunteering shirt on his Facebook, supporting the USO. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Considering the amount of critiquing ridicule I've gotten, we're trying to help folks who enjoy making that organization look bad. Even helping making fun of those who worked for them or did go there. Tap that lady on the back when you get a chance, all right? Because it's not it's not gonna be very long until a Jake or somebody else gets a hold of her to help her understand the highlights of being fired. Keep up the good work. You know who you are. <clears throat> Just keep that in mind. The next time you don't mind your business under Kelly's watch, I say that with a smile. That's just how that is my day. I didn't want you to start off the week correctly this time, golly. Not forgetting about you folks over at Fort Kelly, USO. Nearly 45 years, the air Sesame Street now does more than just prepare the children's education for kindergarten. It focuses on other lifelong lessons such as friendship, sharing, and having boy with this and my, again, the bowling and hazing. The Sesame Street USO experience for military fans began in 2008 to target the specific six Specific needs and unique lifestyles of military children. The free 30 minute performance is coming at Fort Campbell April 11 through 12. Fort Campbell soldiers and their families and members will have the chance to personally. Favorites like Elm, perennial favorites like Elmo, Grover, and Rizzo will be there. Check it out, as well as interact with special character named Katie. Katie appears exclusively at this tour in the future Muppets and Military Child herself. The performance deals with issues that all military children face. In this case, specifically moving throughout the show, the other seats to meet Street's characters cheer, here on help her positively embrace throughout the moving to a new place. The show presents a reality of military families with many children moving six to nine times before graduating high school, according to the Military Child Education College. Kate is a military child. She is getting ready to move, explaining. Lynn Chowalski, Vice President, Interest Partnerships and Community Engagement for Sesame Street Workshop. So do check it out for any tickets remain. 
For more information, the show will be held April 11th at 6 p.m. and April 12th at 1 and 3.30 p.m. at Wilson Theater. While the show is free, tickets will be distributed by Fort Campbell Family Morale, Welfare, and Recreation due to seating. Tickets can be picked up at Co Park Commons Monday from 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. For more information, let's see here. Go to Fort Campbell Indian Health Process and Field Street 2, 5778 Screaming Eagle Boulevard from 9 until 12.30. Much love.